Hi, welcome to BlueFX.net and thank you for buying this lower theory package. My name is Marcelo Cabral and I'm here to show you how to customize this project in the most fast, easy and efficient way. So let's move on. In the delivery package that you receive, you will find all these folders. All the lower tiers projects are contained here inside this folder. As you see, you have 21 After Effects projects. Each one of them corresponds a different lower tier. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will use this one. So just open it by double click. Okay, here we are. I have chosen this project because it has all the elements and all the process that you will find in the other lower tier projects, with some little difference like design, colors, text lines, and so on and so forth. Okay, let me show you what you will find in the project manager. In the uChange folder you have the lower tier composition which we are seeing in the timeline the ticker text info composition by which you can add your text to this animated text line right here and the your logo composition by which you will add your logo to this project in the other cast folder you will find all the composition used to build this project and they are not customizable let's see now the timeline the main control of this project is this orange layer called control this layer has two marks to adjust the duration of this lower tier by dragging this last mark forward or backward. Remember, don't move this first one because this is only a reference for the expression script used to control the animation. Move only this last one. As you see the lower tier is completely animated. So you have an intro animation and an out animation as well when the lower tier goes out. The space between these two marks is the time that the lower tier will remain visible. Now we have the last mark placed here in the 4 second, but maybe you want to enlarge this time, so move this last mark forward till 6 second. I will move this work area mark as well to have a reference for the in and out in the case I use this composition inside another composition. Now we have a new duration and all looks good, but the ticker text has disappeared. To adjust the duration of this ticker, you must to extend or shorten this green layer called ticker text. Let me show you. You have an extra tool in the case you need a timing adjustment. Select this ticker text control and in the effect panel slide this value pressing the Alt and Shift key at the same time of your keyboard to see the change in real time. So this way you can adjust the duration, timing and position of your ticker text. Remember, to make this text readable, use these tools depending on the amount of the text and the time that you have to show this text. To add new text here or change this ticker text, open from the uChange folder this ticker text info composition. Once you are inside, select this text block and change the text. I will add a new text here. And now, I will adjust the duration in the horizontal position of this ticker text as I showed you before. Ok, done. Now let's change the other text. As you see, all the text layers are placed in this composition, so you don't need to open an extra composition to change the text. So just select the text and change the color and position as well. Let me show you. Ok, done. Now, let's add your logo to this composition. To add your logo here, just open from the CCU Chance folder the Your Logo Composition. Once you are inside, drag your logo to this timeline. Let me show you. I have the BlueFX logo right here. And I will drag it to the composition. 
I will make some little adjustments. Let's see how this looks in the lower third count position. I can make an extra adjustment here, moving and scaling this layer. Okay, done. Now let's change the colors. To modify these lower third colors, select this color control layer and open the effect panel. Open all these color effect controls and choose a new color for each one. Let me show you. Now let's place this lower third over a footage to see how all this works. I have a footage right here. And I will drag it here to make a new composition. Ok, now let's drag the lower third composition over this footage. As you see, the in and out marks are really helpful to have a real reference of the entire animation. So this way, I can move the layer wherever I want. And using this indicator reference, I can modify the duration if I need it. Let me show you. Now, let's talk about renders. If you want to use this lower third in other edition programs like Vegas or Final Cut, you will need to make a render with alpha channel to preserve the transparency. Let me show you. Let's open the render queue from the Windows menu. Then drag here your lower third composition. We will see all these settings step by step. The first one is the render settings. Just make click in best setting and then OK. Done. Now for the output model, hit in lossless. And here you can choose any of these extensions with alpha channel, like D, PNG, or Targa 5. But what I recommend to you is use the QuickTime extension because it's one of the most used in video edition. Set up the alpha channel, may click in this format option button and choose PNG. Now in channels, choose RGB plus alpha. And done. Now in the output tool option, choose a folder to place the final render and hit render. OK. But there is another option to use this lower thread in addition program without rendering process. Now I will show you how to import this composition into Premiere. So let's open Premiere. Ok, here we are. I already have a project with some footage. And I will import here the After Effects composition of my lower third. So I will go to the File menu. And I will choose Import. And I will select the lower third 09 After Effects project. Then this window pop-ups asking me about what composition of this project I want to import. I will choose this one. Now we'll drag it to the timeline. Now we'll make a cut here when the lower phase goes out with this eraser tool. And I will unlink the audio track because it doesn't have any audio.
If you need to reposition the lower third into the air, just use this video effect panel and choose motion. Ok, but which is the real advantage about importing the composition into Premiere? Let me show you. Let's suppose now that I need to change this title. Let's go back to After Effects and in the right composition make all the changes that you need, like title, and some colors. Ok, done. Now you have to save the project. Let's go back to Premiere. And as you see, the composition has updated automatically. So you can make all the changes you want in the After Effects composition and have an updated file in Premiere without extra rendering process. Remember, this importing process is only able using After Effects and Premiere of the same version. Ok, now you already know all that you need to customize and use this lower tier package by your own. If you have any question about this process, don't hesitate to contact our support team at bluefx.net. My name is Marcelo Cabral and I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Bye!